pass balls that are away from them and to get them into rally volleyball. They're playing very well at the start of this first set. Dodge one more time, blocked by Gibmeyer. That one just gets over the net. Penn State will have to just send it over. And now they look to set Gibmeyer. She throws it right to Alicia Glass. There's Nicole Fawcett. Serves for the Gophers. Tips the net, but goes across. Armado, 38 blocks, but she gets the kill there, and the Gophers are within one again. There's a big hit from Blair Brown. For the, he said the third straight week, she's the Big Ten Defensive Player of the Week. Well, that one, things Mike Hebert said, is that we have to play Penn State differently than some other teams have played Penn State. What does he mean by that? Hit around the block, and then again, serve and pass really well. Peter threw it into the block of glass who scores for Penn State. Play continues in set number one in Minneapolis. Penn State leading Minnesota 15-13. Kip Meyer from Hartman. Wow, what a great attack. Gibmeyer just catches Penn State's block flat-footed here. Beats Harmato, and she's excited. Who wouldn't be? What a shot. And that gets the crowd going, too. Well, right back at you, Krista Harmato. That's what I love about <laughs> Harmato. She got beat on the block and comes right back. Exclamation point on that attack. Do you hear quiet the crowd yeah, got this? exactly. Boy, it turns around pretty quick. Watch Hodge. Well, this time she doesn't do the big jump serve. She just lays it in there. Gibmeyer got great height again. Look at whole house dig it. Now Hodge gets up in the air and gets the point. Louis 14, Nittany Lions. Now they'll go to Rorig's side, and she'll get the point. In the nation. Hodge. That's a beauty. Just, and had 66 career double-digit kill matches. Texas. You know, uh, Paula Jen Shu, the uh, libero for Minnesota a few years back. Well, she's friends. So Penn State is three points away from set one. Brooke Dieter. Now here's Hodge. Look at Tan go to the floor to dig that one. Hodge again. Well, Megan Hodge sent that one right at Christine Tannen. Tan doesn't miss many, but she couldn't handle that one. And now he put, followed the ball, and blocked the ball. Here's Hodge. Tan dug it, but couldn't control it. Up against an outstanding block, and really, they have to remember to hit the <laughs> those <laughs> angles. Wow. It's in that time, she delivers it right into Glass's hands. Wow. Lovely. Beautiful Ariel dig. Wilson. Yep. Great. 2 1 Gophers. Trying to stay alive. Whoops. I love that play. <laughs> I love it. Her best middle hitter, in my opinion, Krista Harmato. Time to give him a gun. An air ball. Just tipped it a little bit. Service errors. Penn State has nine service errors. Minnesota only two. But the Nittany Lions lead it two sets to none. And they lead in set three. And that's another good one. It goes over top of your block. It's so hard to guess where that ball's going to go. Cowles is blocked, and Harmato's there again. Another block. Cowles blocked again, and that's a point, Penn State. And they're served from Krista Harmato. They said they, she's such an excitable type, they won't let her have caffeine before <laughs> matches. Yeah, she's got it all. Talent, personality, leadership. Nice block there from Rachel Hartman. And another point, Penn State. Peter's serve goes to Roberta Holhouse. Hodge, another good one. And this is a very, very good Minnesota volleyball team, and Penn State is, is making them look pretty average. Jessica Granquist is number two. Haley Cowles, number three, sends it into another block. Made of iron. Ariel Wilson, six in favor of the Nittany Lions. There's another one, Ariel Wilson. 
Go, what a streak for the Nittany Lions. And Fawcett finishes with an ace. Well, we thought this could be the day where Penn State would get a pretty good test from the Minnesota Golden Gophers, but Russ Rose's club comes into Williams Arena and comes away with another 